there are some really important terms that you should know and we should agree on throughout the course. Why? Because I'm going to refer to these almost constantly. Every single scenario, every single module, almost every slide will have some reference to one of these bits of terminology. Typically, a hacker or an attacker or a black hat is a person that is representing a security threat. This is, generally speaking, what we think of as a traditional hacker. Matthew Broderick in War Games is a great example of this, the person that's actually presenting a security threat. The word hacker sometimes gets used in different contexts. Uh, attacker is also a very, very common uh, bit of terminology, and black hat is almost always questioned on different certification examinations what a black hat is. A black hat is an attacker. On the other hand, an ethical hacker or a white hat is someone who uses very similar techniques, very similar approaches and, and almost identical tool sets, but instead of penetrating a system for ill-gotten gains or trying to extort or trying to steal money, this ethical hacker is actually doing the same type of thing in a good way or for good purposes. They're doing this so that they can identify vulnerabilities and issues and flaws and hopefully fix them before they become issues. At the same time, an ethical hacker also tends to go through systems after an incident to determine what the methods of attack were and prevent them in the future. So we have the white hat and the black hat. We have the ethical hacker and the hacker. Those are two sides of the same coin. And then vulnerability, threat, and countermeasure really kind of go together nicely. A vulnerability is simply a weakness in a system that allows an attack to succeed, some type of, of weakness anywhere in the system. Sometimes it's a network protocol. Sometimes it's an open port. Sometimes it's a service that's misconfigured. Sometimes it's a bit of, of ill-written code whatever that vulnerability is. And it doesn't always have to be technology. A lot of times it's a process-based vulnerability. So, for example, approving a system for implementation or approving an employee's access to a sensitive system, those are process-based vulnerabilities. And people-based vulnerabilities, things like hiring uh, someone that works for a competitor or hiring someone without the proper background check is another vulnerability. A threat is something an attacker realizes. So when a threat or when a vulnerability becomes a threat, it's because it's actually being manipulated by an attacker. And then a countermeasure is something that gets changed to mitigate a threat. Those go really, really closely together. I've written uh, books on threats and countermeasures. There's a lot of different content and usually it's around the threat and countermeasure, threat and countermeasure. What are the Conyer vulnerabilities that can actually be realized or are being realized? And then what are the things that are being done about those threats to minimize or remove them as threats?